Hi guys, welcome to your level one Pilates workout. If you haven't already watched my instructional video, I encourage you to watch that first, especially if you're new to Pilates. Also, if you do have a yoga block or a Pilates ring, you can add that to your workout today as well. I explain more in the instructional video on other props you can use in place of a block if you don't have one. We're starting with push-ups. We have three rounds of five push-ups. And if your push-ups aren't strong yet, you can just start holding a plank. Stack your shoulders over your wrist. You can be on the knees, send that belly button high to the ceiling. Really pull the belly button in and up. Stay here or give me five push-ups. Try and keep your neck in alignment. Exhale on your push. Four, three, two, one. Press it back, child's pose stretch. Find length in the spine, enjoy a quick stretch. Not too long of a stretch, we're going right back. Second set, on the knees, belly button high, five push-ups. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent, child's pose stretch. Round three, belly button high, on the knees, shoulders down. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one, enjoy a quick stretch. Very nice. And then onto your back. We're going to keep our hips down and we just take a few pelvic tilts back and forth, warming up the spine. So hips are completely down. Now send the belly button high to the ceiling, tilt your pelvis, and then pull the belly button in and up, and then tuck and round your pelvis, right? As you inhale, I want you to think of expanding the ribs to the side. And then exhale, pull the belly button down to your mat. Press all the lower vertebra into your mat. So pelvic tilts forward and back. One more, inhale, big arch. Exhale, scoop and round, big tuck. Excellent. If you have a yoga block, you can place it in between the knees. If not, just try and graze fingertips to the heels, and then we're pulling up as slow as we can into a shoulder bridge. So really press lower vertebra into the mat, scoop abs, gaze at the ceiling to protect the neck, right? So try not to look at me here. Keep all the weight off the neck at the top, and then let's shimmy on the shoulders, and then hop into a block if you're using it, or maybe walk the feet slightly closer together. We'll take three long breaths here. Deep inhale, ribs expand. Deep exhale, pull the belly button in and up, push into your block. Two more like that. Empty the breath completely. Squeeze the legs, engage your core. Last one. Good. And then hands come to the side, pull the belly button in and up. Come down slower than you came up. See if you can press each vertebra into the mat to peel all the way down. Excellent. Moving into the hundred, we bring the knees in tabletop position over the hips, and then we reach the arms long at the side. If you'd like to use a pillow here, you can. Otherwise, exhale the head up, gaze at your belly button or your powerhouse, start pumping the arms. Inhale through your nose, five counts. And exhale through your nose, five counts. Five inhales, rib, ribs expand. Five exhales, empty your breath. Continue here. If anyone would like to advance, you can also place a block in between the ankles and do the same, right? Some of us in classical, we breathe through the nose. Others will breathe through the mouth. You can test it out. Some people um, appreciate one more than the other. So I say do whatever is right for you, right? Don't forget to expand those ribs on your inhale, empty the breath, and then bring the knees to chest, relax your head down. We're gonna give that right hamstring a stretch. So bend your left knee, send the right leg to the ceiling, and let's point and flex the right foot a little bit. We're preparing for our single leg circles. So we can leave the arms down at the sides to start, right by the hips, point your right toe, Cross your right leg over the left leg. Draw a circle, pause at the top. Inhale to draw that circle. 
exhale to pause. Now I want you to bring all that focus off the right leg. All the focus is core and hips. If you're not feeling it, maybe grab a block or a magic circle above. Um, shoulders stack right underneath the hands. And maybe take a bigger, faster circle. Make sure when you do this that your left knee, knee is not swaying to the side, right? All the focus is on hips pulling back to your mat. And then keep straightening that right leg as much as you can. Pause at the top of your circle and then reverse it. Outer edge of the mat, cross the left leg and pause. Inhale the draw, exhale, scoop the core. Good. If you're controlling any rocking in the hips, give me a bigger, faster circle. If you're using a block, shoulder blades push into the mat. Good. Try and cross over that left leg each time. That's where the challenge lies. Right, and notice the hips want to rock. Last one. And then block to the side if you're using it. Extend the left leg. Exhale, right knee to chest. And then right foot down, reach the left leg high, point and flex, hamstring stretch. Good. One more breath, block is optional, hands long or reach your block above, left leg crosses over the right. Exhale, pause. We cross the midline. Arms are straight if the block is in the air, right? Bend out of the elbow, shoulders down. See if you can make a bigger, faster circle without rocking. Empty the breath, pause at the top. Try and cross over your right leg. Last one. And pause, reverse it. Outer edge, cross right leg and pause. Make sure your right knee's not moving. If you want a little more challenging, walk that right foot forward. If you're very flexible, you can extend that right leg completely. Keep trying to straighten the left knee. Last two, inhale, exhale, pause. Inhale, exhale, pause, block to the side, left knee to chest, extend that right leg. Enjoy a quick stretch and relax. Okay, we rock up to a seat and we take a modified roll down. So as we do this, we're going to find a C curve in the spine. So we're gonna start nice and tall. Nice flat back to start, and then use the legs to round the spine. Top of your seat curve is your head, so you need to gaze at your belly button. Press center of the spine back. Shoulders want to pull up here, squeeze them down. Come down to a challenging spot with the seat curve. Ribs expand on your inhale. Empty the breath on the exhale. We'll take another inhale, maybe a little bit lower. And then exhale, climb up, find length in the waist, sit tall without arching the back. Nice, flat, neutral spine. C curve, head down, center of the spine round, shoulders melt, find a challenging spot. Keep pulling abdominals in and up. Hopefully you find a bit of shaking where you feel a challenge. And then use the legs to walk up, sit nice and tall, crown of the head pulls to the ceiling. C curve, inhale halfway, melt your shoulders, add a pause, good, exhale, find length, can we do one more, last one, make it, make it challenging, breathe into your ribs, and then exhale, climb up, gaze forward, sit tall, Excellent, this time we come all the way down to the mat, one bone at a time. Scoop, scoop, scoop. And empty the breath at the bottom. Excellent. Send those legs nice and high to the ceiling, point your toes for your scissors. We're gonna lift the head up as we climb up your left leg. Lower right leg just a little bit, not too low. Two little stretches left leg and switch it two little stretches right. If you can keep Tips of the shoulder blades to the mat here, that's excellent. If you need a headrest, then bend the knees and keep that other leg high to the ceiling. So it's a little stretch, but your abs are pulling in and up. Last few. And then knees in, relax.